Right, here I am up at the farm again for a couple of days and this time what I'm going to be doing is putting this engine back together again. This is the original engine out of Rodge which Gary stripped down and assessed and actually needs some very specialist um, attention so I'm just going to uh, put the parts back on loosely uh, and put it into storage because um, we're actually going to try and use this engine out of another car, slightly later car. Uh, we think this is a better engine to put in the, into Rodge, so um, I will use that one until such time as I can get that one fully sorted and then we can swap them over later on. Got the two gearboxes there and then all the parts for that engine are on the rack there. So for two days I'm going to be locked in this windowless workshop working away on that. Most important tools in the job are of course the workshop manual and uh, the parts catalogue which uh, is like the instructions really to a big airfix kit or Meccano set. Of course every good workshop needs one of those. The um, instruction manual says that to put the pistons in one needs a propriety a piston ring compressor um, but there is a neat trick and slightly cheaper. You take an old oil tin using a pair of heavy riggers gloves so you don't cut yourself in the sharp metal take a pair of shears and cut yourself Then, once you've got your piece of tin, you can wrap it around your piston and using a... If you take two Jubilee clips, large Jubilee clips, and undo them, you can then wind one onto the other to make the tightening band to go round to compress the um, piston rings. And so, there it is. Um, it's not pretty, it's not elegant, but it's cheap and it's effective and um, Kirsty Allsop should be proud of me. Ten past eight in the evening and I have now got four cylinders uh, in and I'm stopping and going to have some supper. The left side of this engine is where all the problems are. One of the um, uh, cylinder heads is pitted and when Gary took the cylinder head off he discovered that um, there were all manner of studs used on this side and uh, looking at the manual this is an early engine and it needs gold colored studs not black ones so when we come to rebuild this engine, uh, this side is the one that needs all the attention. With the um, Aston Martin Lagonda uh, heads, it's still quite exciting to think that uh, you know I've been working on an Aston Martin engine for the past two days. Anyway, this is where I'm finishing it. This is the job that I've got to do uh, next week. This is the right-hand bank uh, with the valves. That is all uh, in good order, so I'll put the valves into all of that and then put that on the engine next time I'm done.